covered right now, right? Yeah. You stand up and show. Well, because I didn't want to. I had something sexy and underneath. Turn around. Turn around. This is all we have to do safe for work stuff. American kind of. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice little chick. Blow bag is she only, you know what I mean, is blowing sausages. Yeah. Uh, so uh, she got two hands, so you know what I mean, she can do three sausages at a time. You gotta keep winking it. Yeah, so everybody standing in line, uh-huh. jacking off, uh-huh. you know what I mean, complaining like, you making love. And just <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 so how do you feel? Were you able to keep a yeah. like, heart the, the whole time? Yeah, I'm just pretty much focused on her. I zone all the dudes out. After it was getting out of control, well, it really didn't matter if it got out of control or not. After she even, you know, said, uh, had ATM, you know what that uh-huh, is, right? After yeah. she done done ATM, you know what I'm saying, basically, both of us, you know what I'm saying, she's riding me, and now she's trying to kiss me, so I'm like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, no, no. I never heard nobody else do this. This is wife something that I'm like, wife race, because they always, they always send pictures of their wife to their yeah, like, would you, would oh, you do like her? Would you do her? Exactly. Would you do her? Would you do her? So I'd be like, a kid send me. me a picture of his mom and was like, yo. She was like, I don't lie. She was like, and then he blocked me after that. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> yeah, he was like, you he regretted sending it to me. I was like, damn. <laughs> and so he stopped bragging. Then he finally was able to have his happy moment. I don't know what I'm allowed to say on here. And so all over his shirt. And he's like, okay, cool. And then he, he just. Dirty. Then he, gets, <laughs> he gets out and then hops in his car. So he's like, she's all over his shirt. And I'm just like, that was an experience. <laughs> Lock the door, like lock, turn my car back. Did you get any on your car? No, it was all on his shirt. And he's like, <laughs> and then he's like, thanks, babe. And then he leaves and gets in his car. And then, like a month later, because he'll do like comedy What's shows. What's going on, everyone? Hi. What's good? Yeah. So we have a MILF Candy podcast today. Yes, we do. Live from Vegas. Ooh. Oh, that's a nice little blanket. I sponsor in the middle, the Flores XXX. Yes. Um, but behind the blanket is the bubbly and the brand ambassador of milk candy um carmen valentina hi how are you with her nasty mouth and <laughs> she has two worthy adversaries that she's going to take on two today yes um in the blue in the blue corner <laughs> i have not had a chance to have sexy time with him yet mr chocolate god sexy time. That's me. and then also in the green we have Mr. Ace Biggs. And we've already had Victoria's. sexy time, too. Yeah. You know what's interesting, yeah, though? You have two of the hotter, like, in terms of the in the adult industry, that are getting, like, you know, Chocolate Guy has been seen on The Flourish, Triple X, um, Evil Angel, Vixen. Um, Ace um, Biggs is just, he's been killing it late. Just had a Reality Kings. Another one coming up, too. Yeah. All over the floor. Um, oh, December Pornhub Performer of the Month of all the performers as well. So oh, this is like, nice. this is, yeah, yeah, it's just going to go down. Oh. I'm trying. <laughs> so um, anyway, what has everybody here in Vegas? Talk about what's going on in Vegas right now. AVN. Which stands for? Adult Video News. Adult Video Network. 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 <laughs> 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 like, news. I don't know what I thought about. That was, I was close. That was close. There you go. Um, that's dope. So now you have you ever won an AVN award? No, only nominated. Like you they don't like you nominated. I need to network more. It's all like networking. Oh, they think they think it's kind of like the Oscars. You gotta like promote yourself and like. Advertise See, but you've been in the business for like what 14, 17 years? Yeah, but I'm like an introvert. And I don't you never talk won? to anyone. They must think you black. You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh no 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 no! She's really she's really acting right. No no, I don't let her win shit. If you hear. No, we we just keeping it real, you know. But uh, anyway, so that's interesting. I got nominated this year for fan nomination for hottest milk and most amazing ass. Oh yeah, I seen that. Right, now are you covered? Are you you covered right now, right? Yeah. You stand up and show. Well, because I didn't want to. I had up, something sexy up and underneath. Turn up, turn around. This is all we have to do: safe for work stuff. American kind of. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice little cheek. 
So, so those, 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 what she just showed was her gluteus maximus, and they're going to be today. Bouncing on Bouncing. some sausage. And you, and you, and, and you, and and you're going to go, you're going to go at them though. You're not just going to let them just, just, just go at you, right? I don't know. We can do the wobbly H, little Eiffel Tower, like high fives. We don't give a, we don't, you know, really, uh, we don't give a fuck about the vanilla shit. We can go at your fucking ass. Cool. No! <laughs> you ain't gonna get nothing going in there. It's gonna be bare. Oh, no, not, not your, not your, not the your. starfish? Not your backside hole. Oh, okay. okay. I thought you were talking about for a while. I was like. <gasps> no, 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 that's what, <laughs> that's what oh. you, re- no, 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 that's what you reserve for me, Mr. Force. Anyway. <laughs> As we have as we have a conversation, so chocolate, um, uh, you know, it's, it's hard for another guy to call another guy chocolate. It's kind of, it's kind of like, <laughs> you, know you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's like, uh, it's like we're at a nude beach. And, hey, chocolate! <laughs> it's like, it's just, I mean, I get, I had that problem. You know what I'm saying? Or it's not a problem for me. It's a problem for the person who want to call me chocolate. But you know what I mean? They shorten. They usually call me chalk. Or you know what I'm saying? I like when they just call me God. No. Ain't nobody calling you as God. <laughs> Chocolate God, Carmen right. Valentina, Ace right. Biggs. Ain't nobody ever calling you Milk Candy mm-hmm. Podcast Chocolate. in Las Vegas. Chocolate. No, Chocolate. no, 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 Chocolate. Chocolate. I heard that one yet. So Ace, you gonna you, are you gonna call him A Chocolate? Let me you gonna you gonna say that? Hey, let me get in Chocolate. I mean, how does that sound? Hey, it's a name. You put you put as much energy on it as you put on it. You know what I'm saying? How secure or you know what I'm saying, how you feel about saying it. It is it is it is what it is. Yeah. It really how you look at it, it ain't gonna lie. Right, you know, because I got certain certain dudes. I know that they not gay or you know what I'm saying whatever, and they call me chocolate with no problem. And I got other dudes like chocolate man or CG or you know what I'm saying whatever other name. I you know. So you fine with chalk or CG? Yeah, I'm good. Hey, I'm call good. CG. I'm good. I'm good with that. Because if you cross swords, he's CG. <laughs> <laughs> so Carmen. Uh huh. You said you want to start slow and get into it. Yes, because I already know they have big dicks. I like so big dicks, sausages, right? Sausages, <laughs> God <laughs> damn! Bleep that out. We bleep the shit out. We we'll kick you out. <laughs> we out can't take you nowhere. I didn't even bleep it out. <laughs> we, we, we be in church pool play. Everybody I praise the Lord. Somebody just says, "God damn it!" That's you. You were the one in I church in the square. Big sausages, and usually I can warm up in pictures, but we're not going to do many pictures, so I need them to start slow. Milk Candy Podcast Vegas. Why don't you go into how did you even get mixed up with Milk Candy, the, the director producer? Um, well, I met you in Tampa um, yeah. during Fetish Con. And then we had a lot of fun there. That was fun. Yeah, it was fun. That's when I uh, met you guys for the first time. So. Right, and you did a scene yeah. with uh, Massage by Black. Uh huh, with a candle in that. my butt. No, that was what? That's the same one you were trying to get me to go to? Fake on, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It comes nice. That's when we put we put after the podcast we put her in a closet in some in some cups. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Did, hey, actually, you know what? Did we put a candle in your butt? Why am I in the closet with a candle in my butt? Yeah, we put a candle with the candle and everything. It was it was some crazy things you know going on. It was fun though. It was fun, it was hot and sweaty, and what? then yeah, I didn't come the next day because um he got caught in traffic driving mm. from Miami to Tampa. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, Ace, yep. you, wait, wait, one second, let's go back to Carmen. So, mm-hmm. what has been your uh, your experience with the Milk Candy, you know, brand? I Since love you are a brand it. ambassador, uh-huh. you know. I like how um, you guys aren't too serious and you're not too lax, you're like the perfect amount of fun. And everyone's nice. Like, I haven't worked with anyone that's like, uh, I don't know what words I can use. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't met anyone that's like mean, mean. That you, you guys only work with like fun people and nice and respectful people. I like that. Yeah. I never have a bad time. No, it's always a good time. Everyone's like a one big family. Yeah. Of orgy. <laughs> family <Yeah>. orgy. <laughs> I don't know about the family. Baby, but, hey. We're all doing this stepson, hey, stepdaughter yeah. stuff now. You know, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, Ace and Cho- 
talk with y'all talk talk uh, about you know yourselves you've been in the industry etc and then Carmen I want you to ask them questions oh you know and, and while they're talking about themselves you can think of the questions they ask them in terms of what they like what they dislike you know what they think about the industry um, what turns them on you know if you um, you know lick their crevice what is what are they gonna do I, wait. Oh, do you like? <laughs> no, we just talking. We just talking. We just talking. You know, I had one male talent. It was for a gang thing, no, 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 no. and like it was. Who was it? Oh, I can't remember. He was like an older male oh, talent. I think they got crazy. Here's the no, camera. No, no. It was okay. for it was for dog part, and I forgot the male talent. Okay, let me see. He let raised his hand so it. fast. No, not him. Okay. Who was it? I can't remember. But he, oh, he loved oh, it. He, you. You, I think, yeah, I think you were there. And I was like, my only rule is go shower right beforehand. Make sure that booty hole's clean. And then I'm totally down. So you he told, was flexible, so you, too. He's like, I'll put in, like, <laughs> he's like, he's behind his yeah. head. Like, Yo! <laughs> hey! So you down, did, so you will, you, you will look at ass crack. Yeah, as long as it's clean. That's the main reason why. Is I, it, I, it's I not like, so if, if, if I go clean mine right now? Yeah. Hey, that means why I keep my shit here. Cause I ain't gonna do it if it's nasty. I'd be like, exactly no, that no. part, that part. <laughs> I make sure. Oh, I can, can you do that whole thing that you just did with your leg? Your what? leg? What, how, <laughs> Carmen Valentina. I'm not that flexible. Word. Y'all put her fucking ass in a pretzel, don't <laughs> No, probably. I don't know. Okay, uh, you two, but, but we got to, you're gonna have one leg, we're gonna, gonna have, have to uh, grade that out. <laughs> in Las Vegas. I'll do the rest of the interview like this. <laughs> we, we're having a good time here in Las Vegas, No Candy Podcast, AVN. <laughs> I want to know what your first scene was like, both of you. Oh, shit. Were you guys nervous? I'll, I'll let him go first. <laughs> shit, my first scene, I don't even know if I say it. Mainstream because I got paid for it, but like I still didn't even see it. It was for a smaller company. Yeah, it was for a smaller company. You were just the fetish sites or something? Maybe it's like on the smaller site? It was a smaller site. Oh. It was not like really a big company. And I really, I did it out here in Vegas. So like I did my first shot out here in Vegas. Were you nervous? Not really. Oh, that's good. Not really. I wasn't even nervous. Was it one person? Yeah, it was one person. And I wasn't really like, I ain't had no followers like that. I hardly had any. You're just like, this is amazing. Yeah, but th- that's the thing that would kill me too, because like normally people don't take that risk and like, you know, hire somebody on the just out the blue head with no experience. Wait, so how do they find you? How did you find them? Uh, I was signed. I'm signed to Cox, uh, Connor Cox, uh, uh-huh. Cox Models, and. So you're first was through them? No, nah, not even through them. No. To be honest, I, I I put myself on with that one. Oh. And I don't know, he just seen the pictures, I guess. And he was like, we just go. Nice. Yeah, he paid for the flight and all that shit. I know my first uh shoot, I found them on Craigslist. That's wild. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I found mine on Sexy Job. That's where oh, it was. Yes, yeah, so I got mine off of Craigslist. Job. I would not recommend anyone to do that. How was that experience? It was it was actually a professional company. They shot for um, ATK and uh, it was like all solos and stuff. And then the producer lived here in Vegas too. Sadie, Sadie. 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 I don't know. I found other jobs. I was a blackjack dealer through Craigslist at like the one of the um, casinos downtown. I was a character artist. I found on Craigslist at Mandalay Bay. Oh, you can find some good jobs. That was like fifteen years ago. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, that was when it was popping. I got into Hustler Magazine off of Craigslist. That's when Craigslist was like back page. Right? Yeah. There was a lot of people like trying to find porn girls off of Craigslist. Now I'm like, ooh, you might get murdered. So what about you? Um, my first scene was for um, Dog Park. It was a blowback. Uh-huh. But uh, I want to say 10, 8 guys, 8 to 10 guys, uh-huh. something like that. And uh it was a kind of, uh, you know, weird experience because, uh, you know. You all the other. She, I mean, it's <laughs> the blow bang is she only, you know what I mean, is blowing sausages. Yeah. Oh. So, uh, I mean, she got two hands. So, you know what I mean, she can do three sausages at a time. You got to keep winking it. Yeah, so everybody's standing in line. 
uh-huh. jacking off. Uh huh. You know what I mean? Complaining like you making love. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 so how you feel? Were you able to keep a yeah. like hard on the, the whole time? Yeah, I just pretty much focus on her. I zone all the dudes out. Uh huh. And um, you know, I just kind of like you know just focused focused on her. I found something on her that I liked, uh-huh. and I just focused on that for the whole scene. How did you find uh, Doc Parker? Um, How did they find you? Like, on man, I got I got a mysterious fan that has connections in the industry, oh. and um, he just gave me like he's like, man, I've been watching your content, whoop whoop whoop, whatever, and then um, he gave me um, the number to the Dog Forest Talent um, Talent Scout and Jim Powers, mm-hmm. and um, I called the Talent Scout first, and um, you know I ended up shooting some content with his wife. Who is a you know a pretty big porn star, and um, after I shot that content, it's like, hey, you want to come do this blow bang for dog for it? I'm like, yeah, let's do this. And nice. It's been a whirlwind ever since. I'm still trying to. It's like all the pieces of the puzzle been falling right in the right place at the right time. And then I done had some good mentors to, mm-hmm. that's in the industry, been doing this shit for a long time that I look to for knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. So you know, I'm, I'm a, right now I'm a sponge. I'm soaking up the knowledge, you know, because. I don't want to just do for it. I want to take it to the next level. I don't want to be the company that's hiring people instead of working for the company. Yeah, build up. Exactly. I want to be the brand. Exactly. That part. Who is the brand? Huh? You can do it. Oh, yeah. That ain't no doubt in my mind. I am going to do it. You're doing it? Yeah. Right? yeah you know? <laughs> Counting is money. I start the LLC this month. And with social media now, it makes it so much easier because when I started, like, barely anyone had social media. Twitter was just, like, kind of getting popular for all the porn girls. I had no one. I, I was like trying to figure out. I was watching all these porn videos when I <laughs> started entering the industry. I'm like, how do they do their scenes? Like, how how do they <laughs> act in it? So I'm like, I'm all the tube side. So like, hmm. okay, I like no one to teach me. Oh, I made so many mistakes. I got screwed over too. Learn about mistakes too. Yeah. yeah. I've been I've been blessed to you know what I'm saying where I've been getting like training from the, the directors like, and I'm you know what I'm saying I'm I'm the type of person like my whole life you know what I mean I've been good with my hands, so like I done build stuff, I was doing contracting, I had my own contracting company, you know what I'm saying, um, I, I'm, I'm real just good with my hands, so you can show me something one time, and if you show it to me one time, I'm gonna I'm know how to do it. Oh, that's good. You know what I'm saying, so I done work with some directors, like, all right, open up like this, put your leg like this, angle like this, I need to be able to see, you tell me one time, you ain't gonna have to tell yeah, me again. It should, should stick. Oh, that's good, at least you pay attention, and you know, because there's like some talent, they're just like deer in headlights, like, yeah. Like, okay, move, move your arm. Yeah. <laughs> they just keep staring. Like, when I, first, when, I was, when I first started, I was, like, real quiet. I didn't talk too much in the scene. Uh-huh. And the directors used to tell me, like, you need to talk more and talk more. And now you can't shut me up. <laughs> <laughs> like, shut up. <laughs> yeah, It'll be the new, uh, what's his name? Uh, Wesley Pipes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to go Wesley Pipes on him with the mouthpiece. <laughs> What about, uh, what was your most, um, memorable scene? You don't have to name names. It's a lot. <laughs> you know what I mean? What's, like, the most craziest one, good or bad, that sticks in your head? I had a crazy one. Uh-huh. My first, uh, my first and only DP. Oh, yeah, those are crazy. Yeah, with Miss, uh, I had with Miss Danny, you know, Miss Danny and uh, ah. Musa. Yeah. It was, that was crazy. Um, I never did that, so it felt crazy. Oh, have you uh, never did that before? Never did that before. That was the first time doing it, period, on camera. Was it weird when you first did it, or you just like got yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, the first seconds. time. I mean, I was doing it, while I was doing it, it was feeling weird. After, afterwards, it was like, all right, shit, let's do this. <laughs> You're like, that wasn't so bad. Like, it's like the whole chocolate situation. It's only weird if you make it weird. Yeah. What about you? What was your weirdest good or bad scene? I'm going to go, I'm going to tell you my bad, worst, baddest scene. Uh huh. It was the scene uh, where um, I was actually, you know what I'm saying, my worst experience, it was actually shooting content. And uh, I was shooting content with this um, girl that, you know what I mean, a uh, videographer had connected me with. He wanted to record me so bad. Would you move or something? All right, you find a girl that wants to shoot some content. She tested it clean. You can shoot a scene. So, uh, um, he found the girl, she was cool, I approved on it, and you know, we went to shoot the content, and uh, um, 
I stuck the sausage in where it was supposed to go and something sprayed out that other hole. Oh. I, was like, I was like, all right, keep your calm, keep your calm. You know what I'm saying? Went in the bathroom, took a shower, we took a break. I came back out, it happened again. As <gasps> soon as I went in, you know what I'm saying? And then oh. she was like, oh, no. That's embarrassing. Yeah, she was like, oh. oh. She was like, I was like, I don't know what's, I was like, man, I, I was kind of scared. Uh -huh. If you ain't got control of your bowels, it might mean something wrong with you. She oh, must, no. Most girls, I really use like will empty the yeah. enema and fill it up with water because the stuff in there will make them just keep going to the yeah. bathroom. So that this, she probably used the stuff straight from the bottle. I mean, it wasn't an anal scene, so. No? But I don't know what she would be prepping for. Oh. She might have just been had, you know, saying the runs or something. I don't know. Oh, oh I thought it was no. an anal one. Oh, no. wow. No, I went, I went in through the other hole and it sprayed out that hole. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I would freak out. The second time I was like, all right, that's it. I'm done. <laughs> nice meeting you. Yeah. Like, I'm going to shower and I'm never yeah. going to see you again. Oh, Bye. Yeah. At least we were just shooting content. It wasn't yeah, yeah, I mean, I actually had a mainstream that kind of turned messy too. That was a DP, and um, the girl that we were supposed to be shooting with had a uh, cancel, so uh, they had got another girl at the last, last minute, minute, and she wasn't fully. She was prepping on set, so you know, what I'm saying she had done no prepping oh, before okay. last minute, oh. last minute prepping. It was like I'm literally right before she's like, oh, I'm not sure this clean out. Will you will will? We'll and find out. It, it started off. It started off good, but towards the end, it was a whole lot of wiping and uh, baby wipes and cleaning, and I was like, I'm surprised I was able to finish that scene. <laughs> I was on one set where it was a threesome set, and the girl, because I don't do anal, but the other girl was, and so I'm just minding my own business, like la la la, while she's you know getting the sausage in her, and all of a sudden I just hear the director say cut, and like what's going on. I guess um, all over the guy's sausage, it like sprayed out on the bed sheets, so they had to change the bed sheets. It's funny because in the video you can see the bed sheets look totally different, but in the comments no one ever says anything. And then, <laughs> and then so she goes and cleans herself out. She prepped in everything, and then I'm supposed to get finished um, at the end. And so the motel is standing there, and I'm like, "Did you like wash your sausage off?" He's like, "Yeah, baby wiped it." I'm like. What? He's yeah. like, you didn't wash it with soap and water. And he's like, no, it's clean. I'm like, no, you gotta wash it with soap and water because you're sticking that up in my <laughs> whole, whole yeah. neck. And like, that's gonna give me the worst infection. He's like, oh, okay, okay. And then he goes and washes it with soap and water. I'm like, oh my God. And while she's cleaning herself out. <laughs> like, yeah. That was so, like a horrible experience. So similar, similar thing in, uh -huh. that, in that same scene. After it was getting out of control, well, it really didn't matter if it got out of control or not. After she didn't, you know, said, uh, had ATM, you uh, know what that uh -huh, is, right? After yeah. she done done ATM, you know what I'm saying, basically, both of us, you know what I'm saying, she's riding me, and now she's trying to kiss me, so I'm like, mm. <laughs> Like, no, no, no. <laughs> no. I'm not trying to make it obvious, so I'm just, in the sense, I'm like, oh, yeah. Oh. Then after the fact, they're like, 
oh, that was just an audition. If you get picked, then we'll pay you. And I'm like, what? Oh. And then later, I guess one of the guys had like a thing for me and texted me like, hey, if you really want to make the DVD and get paid, why don't you come over to my place right now and uh, um, come have fun with me? And I'm like, I was like, I told him like, yeah, F no. I'm like, go F yourself. I don't need the money. Uh, and then I blocked his number and never talked to him again. And I never seen that scene cool. out, so hopefully they never used it. But yeah, that was a mistake. But I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I had no one to like teach me. Everything was like self-taught from like mistakes and stuff. Yeah. So. So me, so blind. And then getting an agent was good because then they like weeded out all the like shady <laughs> people too. So that was a good thing. But then agents are annoying too because sometimes they're assholes. <laughs> Not all of them, but sometimes they're like, they treat you as if, like, they, well, they treat like their talent sometimes as if the talent's beneath them. I'm like, no, you work for the talent. You exactly. get the commission from the talent. So why are you talking to the talent like they're beneath you? So I have, mm. like, a thing against Because them. the talent gives them the power to treat them like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, because a lot of, you know what I'm saying, I, I, this, is, and this is just my perspective, you know what I'm saying, on the, I don't want to say elevate letter, but just not, just looking at the whole dynamic of the relationship. Like, if they work for you, that means that they should be catering to you. You know, what I'm saying, and we're making sure that you get booked and everything. Uh -huh. so a lot of times, it's the talents that's you know uh, chasing the agents, and it mm -hmm. makes them feel more powerful mm -hmm. because they like you need me to get work. Yeah, like all the girls you know? want to be like this agent's the most popular one, so then all the girls want to go to the most popular agent. And I'm like. They're really not that great because they'll just focus on that one or two popular girls. Like, they don't do anything except answer the phone. And their director's like, do you have so-and-so available? Yes. Okay. Yep. I'll message her. Yes. Okay, so-and-so, you have a booking, blah, blah, blah. And then they, the girl thinks the agent got it when it was just, she was getting requested by the director. Exactly. Should be more than that. Exactly. Should be I mean, it's good, it's good to have an agent. Big people who work. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, I think it's good to have an agent because they can put you in different, um, with different companies that, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, you might not have had access to, that might have ignored your DM yeah. or whatever. And some directors <laughs> refuse to book um, independent um, performers, so they rather go through an agency, because then yeah. if that performer doesn't show up, the agency can immediately send them like a backup, or they get a kill fee from the agency, yeah. and no one can show up. Yeah. So that's like the only safety measure, but they're needed but I feel like some of them not all of them there are good agents out there but some of them they just get like such a big ego mm -hmm. and then they think they're like indestructible and they're like I'm, everyone needs me yeah, these but, girls are beneath me or whatever talent yeah. Yeah. I think I think you gotta do your due diligence too as a, as a talent cause like me before I ever shot a Vixen scene I had reached out to them numerous times nothing nothing then you did get did that thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, once I started, like, getting injured, I just started to DM every, I, I, matter of fact, I got every professional company, uh -huh. um, like, on my Twitter, I got they, that they, all their pages on notifications, so every time they post something, I see what they you post, they and then sometimes I mimic the, like, the way that they shoot they, their uh -huh. mainstream shit, I mimic it, shoot my content the same way how they shoot they That's things, smart. and, That's like, you know. look. I'm, yeah. I, 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 it fit. It's good. It's co it's good content. You know what I mean? So uh, I have a whole social media person, so yeah. you kind of replicate what they're paying that person for. It's it's been two. Yeah. It's, so far, it's been two instances where I done shot content with a person, and then like shortly after, I get booked with a real industry scene yeah. with the same person that I shot content with. Oh, Maybe okay. feel like they watching. They watching. They do pay attention. Yeah. yeah. And they see who gets a lot of likes and who sells. I think right now a lot of companies are like learning the mystic because you can't always follow who's a good performer by the follower count. So I think a lot of um, big companies are starting to finally realize like, oh, this girl has a big following. She's going to sell a lot for us. And then that's not the case because like that person bought their followers or it's like all yeah, fake. Right. And then like, oh, we hired, because I noticed they're starting to hire like all these girls who've never done anything for the companies, like foreign companies before. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And like, oh, she's popular on Instagram. I'm like, girl, she probably bought like all those followers, and then they hire her, and then she doesn't sell anything. They're like, and then they made just a huge mistake. I'm like, because the girl has no personality and had to buy her followers, <laughs> so they didn't work for them. So I think that's also another thing. You gotta work hard for like your following count. 
me, I'm too cheap to buy anything like that. I'm like, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm like, I'm I can spend that money on other stuff, like going out to eat or getting a massage. I'm not gonna buy you followers. You can already tell the process. Yeah. But you, you can tell who paid for their followers and who didn't. Uh-huh. Because, uh huh. Because like a lot of times when you pay with your followers, you don't have a lot of engagement. Mm-hmm. So you know what I'm saying, like. Compared to other people, I have a low following account, but I got a lot of engagement on my page. That's like, what matters. You know what I'm saying? I get, I get likes, I get comments, uh-huh. you know what I'm saying? I get tagged in a lot of shit. People tag, people they want to see me work with. Yeah. So, you know. So who are most of your fans? Are they like uh, men or women? Because I know with male talent, they have a huge gay yeah. following. Yeah, a huge gay following. Yeah. Yeah, yeah most, of my, most of mine or I you was, have like sugar daddy fans that buy you stuff. <laughs> I want to know. No, I got, I got cut. I got a lot of cuck fans. Oh, oh. I got a lot of cuck fans. Oh. I got a lot of cuck fans too. I think about it. Yeah. Do they buy you stuff? Are you like, I would like these shoes for my birthday or outfit. Yeah. So, uh, so my, my my cuck fans go so crazy now. I do what I call white rings. I don't know. What? I never heard nobody else do this. This is wife something that I'm a wife race because they always they always send pictures of their wife to their yeah, like, like, Would you would oh, you do her? Would you drink. do her? Exactly. Would you do her? Would you do her? So I'd be yeah, like, a kid sent me, me a picture of his mom and was like, yo. She was like, I ain't gonna lie, she was like. You're like, yeah, I think your mom. And then he blocked me after that. Oh, what? He <laughs> yeah, he was like, you? he regretted sending it to me. I'm like, damn. But he wanted your opinion. What the, what the hell? Yeah. I like the wife rating. Yeah, Have they, you ever given anything below a five? Or you yeah. kind of, oh. I, you know what I mean? Some of them, the way the cuck world works, it's like you don't know what, you got to kind of read them and see what kind of level they on. Some of them like to be Humiliate. degraded, humiliated. Uh-huh. And then some of them are just like, man, I just, like to watch my wife get, you know what I'm saying, took down. So, oh. you know, they always send me pictures like, would you do this, would you do that? I'm like, send me a cash app and I'll tell you. <laughs> I, I, I give, first I'll give them a rating from one to 10. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? I'll tell you why I gave them that rating. And if I would do something to her, yeah. if I would take her down, then I explain like what I would do. And, you know, depending on, depending, depending on if it's a message or if it's my voice, or if it's an actual video of me talking, it's going to determine the price. Of the price. That's like the male version of a female saying dig rates. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly what it is. Yeah, I like that. That's actually pretty genius. Exactly. Well, I think I have everyone be copying you. All right, y'all. So, you know, so <laughs> yeah. like, oh, there's enough money for everybody. Uh huh. Exactly. Because yeah, I always wonder, because I, I know um, some male talent, they're like, every one of their like members is just like men, 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 men. So I was kind of curious about that. You got it. Be it. Be some. We be ladies too. Ladies, ladies too. You know too. What I mean? Like it's it's been a few. You know what I'm saying? Situations and all. You know what I mean? I ain't gonna kid to tell, but it's been celebrities and oh. you know all kind of stuff going on. I know for like poor girls, I think the worst celebrities are probably like the comedians. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna talk shit. They're the horniest celebrities that just like oh, yeah. wanna bang every porn star girl. Oh, I got stories, but. But it's, oh, it's a famous comedian from like, I'm not gonna say how many years ago, it's not gonna give it away. But uh, he, I was kind of offended because he wouldn't take a selfie with me. And this is at the Hard Rock, he, he went to Avian. And then I was like, I'm like, okay, I gotta go. And then he's like, oh, I thought he valet parked. He's like, oh no, I, I parked in the garage too. I'm like, okay, cool. And then we get to the elevators and all these frat boys are like, oh my god, it's so and so. And then he takes a selfie with them. I'm like, okay. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm on level seven. See you later. What floor are you on? He's like, oh, I'm on the same level. I'm like, Phew. so we get up and I didn't want to like do anything with him because he kind of was like dirty, like just uh-huh. dirty clothes and just didn't seem like he bathed. Yeah. It was just, I don't know. It was just kind of like if you're gonna go out, like put some clean clothes on. Exactly. So. I get up there, I'm like, hey, do you want to, can I take a selfie with you? We're in a public place, a parking garage and stuff. He's like, no, 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 I can't because of my image and stuff. I was like, okay, so you're all right with trying to use me, but you're not okay with me trying to get one selfie with you that's in public. You could just set it up, like, past you, and you could have had no idea who I was, and I just asked for one, like the frat boys. So I was a little offended by that, so I was like, oh, I was like, fuck this dude. So... I was like, okay, my car's right here. I'll see you later. And he's like, oh, okay, my car's on the other side. Can you drive me there? And I'm like, I can't get rid of him. I'm just like, oh, this is so <laughs> annoying. And so as like a girl, when you 
by yourself, you like you don't want to piss off a guy because you don't know. I've never met him before that, so I was like, I don't know what his reaction is gonna be if you like piss him off. Mm-hmm. It's just like you know. So I'm like, okay, whatever. I'll drive you to your car. So I drive him to his car, uh, and then I'm like, okay, I'll see you later. And then he just whips his sausage out and starts jerking it off. And I'm like, oh, no, I'm not joking. He literally oh, whips like as if I'm gonna do it. I'm like, first of all, you didn't take a selfie with me, so why are you whipping that out? I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna do shit to you, okay? So he whips it out, and then he starts like jerking it off. And I'm like, okay. And I'm like. I don't know what you want me to do. He's like, come on, just put, put your mouth on it. And I'm like, no. And he's, I'm like, just put your mouth on it. And I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like trying to figure out. He thought he had mouthpiece. Like, in, in my head, I'm like, how do I get out of this situation? I'm like, you know what? You're not tested. I don't know what your results are. You could have something I don't know you have. Like, all the porn stars, we always have to get tested every 14 days. I'm like, exactly. I need to see your results. She's like, babe, I get tested all the time. I just got from my doctor and stuff. I'm like, I'm like, oh, but you have to be tested at the place I go. I can't trust your doctor. So I'm like, exactly. now it's like starting to like kick in that he knows. Yeah, and so he's like really, okay, can you just talk dirty to me? I'm like, okay, I'll do that because I want him to get out quicker. So I'm like, I'll talk dirty. And then he made me turn off the car because he didn't want any sounds on or the car act <laughs> like, This is so weird. Crazy. And so I'm just like, now I need the car. Do you think there's like a hidden camera or something in here? I don't understand. I had to turn the car off. Couldn't have the radio on. I'm like, this is weird. But I just went out of the car. You had no taser. You should have tased that. <laughs> I can't bring a taser. I'm going to the AVN. They check your bags and stuff. Base or something. Oh. So um, he finally like, uh, and then he's bragging about these other porn stars that he like, messed around with him like well that one's a crack horse so she'll do anyone <laughs> and he just, he just dropped he stopped bragging about it after i was like well she's a crack horse. she'll she'll bang everyone and anyone and so he stopped bragging then he finally was able to have his happy moment i don't know what i'm allowed to say on here and so all over his shirt and he's like okay cool and then he's he just dirty. Then he, gets, he gets out and then hops in his car so he's like she's all over and I'm just like, that was an experience. <laughs> and then I just like locked the door, like lock, turn my car back. Did he get like, anything on your car? No, it was all on his shirt. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, and then he's like, thanks, babe. <laughs> and then he leaves and gets in his car. And then, like a month later, because he'll do like comedy shows, he was in this um, city, and he's like, hey, I put you on the list because he knew that's the city I was in at the moment. And I was like. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm working. I have a cam show. I didn't have a fucking cam show that night. I, I can't make it. And then another time he came to town, he's like, I'll put you on the list for my show again. I'm like, yeah, I'm sorry, I can't make it. And then never heard from him ever again, but he still follows me on Twitter and stuff. So. <laughs> so. I'm going to have to check your followers for comedians. Oh, I'll tell you after we click in. I'll tell you after when I click in. Was it but, Cat Williams? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> but I was pissed off. Like, you want me to go down on you? I probably would have if you just took a selfie with me. But now that you pissed me off and, like, offended me because mm-hmm. you don't take pictures because of what I do, or, but you want me to service you? Uh-uh. No, 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 no. Uh, like, I got more fucking respect than that. I was pissed off. So I lost respect for him. No right selfie? Now. You really going to be with yourself? Yeah! <laughs> I was like, this is a simple <laughs> selfie in a parking this? garage. You want to take more selfies after this? this. <laughs> I was pissed off. I was like, you know what? Whatever. Who want a selfie? <laughs> <laughs> if that's what comes with it. <laughs> so that was that was my experience with like someone more kind of famous. So yeah. yeah. That's a wild experience. Yeah. Man, that's crazy. I don't know if you guys. You could have been scared. You wasn't scared. Huh? No. Huh? I know some girls have been scared. Of you. You don't know what to do in that type of situation. Like, you just pull your fan out. Pretty much you just got to keep being nice. Because the thing is, it's like, uh, you don't want to offend them. Because, like, if you, they get offended, they might slap you or punch you. So you're just like. Dudes these days, when they get offended by girls, like, they start to get violent. Like, I don't, I don't know. Exactly. So, like, girls, are like, they were like, I don't know why the girl was honest with me. And she could have just told me, like, because you don't know your, what your reaction is going to be. Like, what do you expect? Like. Like, you don't know who's who until I think, later. I think, like, at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying, you just got to know that you're not going to be everybody's cup of tea. Yeah. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Some females are, you know what I'm saying, they like tall guys, some females are like short guys, some females they like buff guys, some females like skinny guys, some females like, like beer guys. belly, yeah. beer belly. You know what I mean? Like you're not gonna be everybody cup of tea, so why is you gonna take that offensive if you get a rejection? Like me, mm-hmm. if I you know what I mean, approach a woman and she's not interested, I'm just gonna say, All right, you stay beautiful and have a nice day. Keep I push go on about my day because me doing all the extra shit is not gonna make her you know what I'm saying, um, want me eat more, you know, they dislike me less. And um, I had a situation where it worked in my favor. Because I because I said, you stay beautiful and have a nice day, she's like, hold on, nobody has never, I usually get a negative response, you know what I mean? She's like, you know what, you seem like a nice guy, here's my number. Ah. Talk to her, you know what I'm saying, but she initially wasn't And who knows, maybe she might have had a bad day before you approached her. Exactly. Very true. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like, I know I'm not, like, every guy's cup of tea. Like, some guys like super skinny girls, same thing. But if I'm not their cup of tea and they try to insult me on Twitter or something, I'm, like, block. <laughs> I'm, like, you ain't giving me money, so why do I even need to keep having you on my timeline insulting me? I'm, like, simple as a block. I'm, like, go to the other girl that you're more attracted to. Why are you coming to me and insulting me? I'm not offended. Like, they'll try to offend me. And I'm, like, okay, because I'll, like, say something they disagree with. Like, it's Politically or something, I'm like, I think sometimes all right. they want to see if they can get blocked. If, if you're really seeing them. Oh, sometimes I'll mute them just to piss them off because some of them want to brag that they got blocked, so I'll mute them. I'm like, oh, never gonna read whatever you say again, and then that hurts their ego even more. Just the glory that you open the message and see what they send to Yeah. Because I've had that before. This, this baby clout. They get to show on their friends. Look, she responded by yep. blocking me. She That's blocked it. me. Oh my God. I was such she an took, asshole she to, these, to everyone. She, she blocked she, me. She actually took the time out to block me. I can't I don't, believe it. I don't know how that's a block, like a brag. Like, how are you bragging about being an asshole? That's not like a thing to brag about. You're just a shitty human being. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, if you brag about being blocked, it's like, why are you, like, what did you do to be blocked? Yeah. yeah. Some people are have their priorities wrong. <laughs> so, great storytelling. Um, Thank you. A lot, lot, of, lot of things that people learned about you, and now they're going to see something about you, right? It's time. They're going to see a lot of me. It is. With it no is, clothes on. It is time for those cakes to get clapped. <laughs> and it's my birthday in a few days. I have lots of cake to give out. Really? Oh, you ain't done giving out cake. So anyway. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if it's going to it's be a round of applause. Um, if, if anybody sees this in uh, YouTube, um, the channel, and we should have done it at the beginning, um, uh, Asher Clan, um, also Asher Clan TV, A-S-H-E-R-C-L-A-N. Um, oh, almost, it's going to probably be it by the end of this week. We are hoping it'll be close to 200,000 subs or, or sometime next week and targeting half a million by the middle of the year and a mill this year. Yeah. Um, if you check the description, you're going to see a link that says Uncensored, and if you click that, and this will be the Milk Candy, and you click that Milk Candy link, you can see what they did when this is out. Awesome, awesome. If you see this, um, uh, those excerpt of this in Twitter, make sure you go to the top comment so that you can see it all or know where to go, all right, um, in terms of the podcast and whatever they did. So, Ace Biggs, Carmen Valentina, Chocolate God. Chocolate, you know what I'm saying? Chocolate God 310, all my platforms. There you go. OnlyFans, Instagram, Twitter, all Chocolate God. Spelled just exactly the way it is with a 310 on the end. Carmen, your Twitter? Uh, Twitter is Club Carmen XXX. My TikTok is, I think it's Carmen's Booty. And Instagram, <laughs> Bootyful <laughs> Carmen Valentina. I think I forgot. I have to look it up again. <laughs> Ace. Yeah, you got me on uh, Pornhub. Twitter, Instagram, Ace Biggs, one S, one G. You can get me on a mini videos too, Ace Biggs, but you place the E, put a, uh, put a uh, three. Yeah, if you get that. Um, this is Mr. Flourish, 6'9". Um, the host is with the most is uh, the General Cesar, or whatever, a.k.a. Shook Knight Jr. Anyway, that is me. Big <laughs> Shook. <laughs> Check us out. Shout out to the sponsor of the Four Triple X. E3. Do you think? About to get ready. Yeah.